Hello and welcome. So Michael here, and I'll be your guide for all things EFT. So in this series, I'm going through each of the five elements found within Chinese medicine. And we're going to be focusing on doing a tap to help rebalance, reinvigorate the organs and the element in that particular week or that particular video. So in this video, I'm focusing on the water element, which houses the kidneys and the bladder. Okay, so let's get into it. So tap on the side of the hand, take a breath. Mm. Good. Now, I want you to bring to your mind's eye, as best you can, a picture of the kidneys, or your kidneys. Now, it can be like a cartoon, it doesn't have to be perfect, just as best you can. Give them a little smile. And now bring up the image inside of the bladder, as best you can. And give it a little smile too. Good. So this is a very common uh, practice within uh, certain styles of Tai Chi, Qigong, martial arts, is that we actually want to visualize the organs and what's going on inside the body. It helps us develop a relationship. Good. And repeat these words if it feels okay. So even though I may carry imbalances in my kidneys and in my bladder, I deeply and completely love myself anyway. Even though I may have imbalances in my bladder and imbalances in my kidneys, I fully and deeply love myself anyway. Good. Tap on the inside of the eye. So any stress in my kidneys and any stress in my bladder. Side of the eye. Any fear that may be stuck in my kidneys. And any feelings of insecurity inside my body. Tap under the eye. So I accept the way that I feel inside. Tap it on the nose. And it's safe now to take a deep breath. And let some of this fear go. Good. Tap on the chin. Any stagnation that may be in my kidneys and in my bladder. I choose to let it go now. Good. Tap on the chest. So I'm open to nourishing my kidneys more fully. And sending love to my kidneys and lower back. Tap under the arm. I'm open to nourishing my bladder and sending love to my bladder right now. Top of the head. And even if these organs don't, don't work exactly the way I want them to, sometimes, that's okay. I choose to send them, send them love anyway. 
Good. Tap on the, in the inside of the eye. Releasing any remaining fear or worry that may be stuck in my kidneys. Good. Tap on the side. And I'm inviting a nourishing flow into my bladder system. Good. Tap under the eye. And I acknowledge the deep reservoir of wisdom in my kidneys and bladder. Tap under the nose. I'm open to nourishing my kidneys and nourishing my vital force. Tap on the chin. Allowing my body to feel stronger and my mind to be clearer. Tap on the chest. And I'm open to flowing fluidly with life. Tap under the arm. Flowing with the natural flow of life. Tap on the top of the head. And with each breath, I can fill my kidneys with more power. Tap on the inside of the eye. And letting that power move up through my spine. Tap on the side. And it's safe to take another breath. And let any remaining stagnation or fear go. And with each breath, I'm allowing in more courage, more strength. Under the nose, bringing in, bringing it into my body, my mind, and my life. Tap on the chin. And I'm giving myself permission to be more focused and more determined in my daily life. Tap on the chest. Because I'm allowing my kidney energy to nourish and sustain me. And so I'm choosing to send my kidneys and my bladder some love right now. And I give them thanks for working for me every day. And I fully and deeply love and accept myself no matter what. Good. Take a deep breath. Release. Good. So take your time. You can come back to these videos at any time to keep building that energy up. So the kidneys and the bladder, two very important organs in the Chinese medical system. We tend to focus more on the kidneys, however, because the kidneys, they describe it as the sea of marrow and the house of the Jing Qi. The Jing Qi is basically our genetics. So our parents come together, you know, then they create a genetic pool, and then we're born as a baby, and that, that comes from the kidneys. So that Jing Qi is stored in the kidneys, and as we start to grow, the Jing Qi comes out of the kidneys, spreads through the system, and builds upon it all the other organ systems, builds a strong body, builds a strong brain, all these things. So we want to look after our kidneys and look after our Jing Qi because if we do, we'll have a strong body and we'll be able to live for a very long time. If the kidneys get taxed, damaged, uh, overworked, overused, stressed out, then generally the system will start to become weaker and our longevity will reduce. Now emotionally, psychologically, kidneys, like I said, they're kind of about having a strong body 
And that also means having a strong brain and a strong sense of self-esteem as well, strong sense of charisma and confidence. So if we if we got damaged water element or damaged kidney is that the person tends to have a very weak self-esteem or low self-esteem is a better way of saying it. Uh, they don't have much courage. They're always afraid and always fearful, always startled easily. And I'll also just throw it out there is that exercise, particularly things that involve like low squats, martial arts, <clears throat> Tai Chi, Qigong, anything like that where it's kind of like intense, a low, body strength exercises are also really good for developing and strengthening the kidneys. Be sure to leave a comment in the comments below if that was helpful for you or if there's something else you want me to cover. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.